Bleach Slash and Blower, episode 31. Eyes and goodness coming in. You guys ready? Let's do it up. Dang, we're kicking off right from here, huh? That's crazy. They move at lightning speed. This is so fast. Urahara, shock images continue to come through. Oh, my dad, my king. He's looking good. Very interesting changes. Very subtle changes with Soifan right there. Hey, Return of the People in Thousand Blood War Episode 1. Okay. Everybody's getting embarrassed here. This is crazy. <laughs> Ooh, they got little teeth on them. That's scary. Ikaku go Bankai here, please. Kubo, please go Bankai. Oh, Shikai, that son of a bitch. Okay, Ikaku's running on the orbs. I love the noise for Hisagi Zanpakuto. Love it. Oh, Byakia. Byakia's the perfect counter to all of this. The perfect counter. Oh, uh-oh. What stopped him? What could it be, guys? Love this part. Look at the poor little orb trying to crawl out from underneath. <laughs> that leads me to question. Did they just throw Aizen in like a fucking rocket launcher and shoot him over there and he landed on one of them? Like, what happened there? The return of Aizen is here, boys. It's going to be such a good episode. They've done a great job so far. A lot of that stuff, so one of the big things that's different in that, Soifan in the manga jumps up and attacks the orbs, gets taken, and Omida saves her with his Shikai. I can't believe they did my boy like that. Love it. Love this line. I love it. So good. So good. Island is the ultimate trash talker. Mm, here we go, Shun Sweet. Tell him. Put him in their place, Shun Sweet. Classic scene. Classic Junsui scene from the manga here. So far, all very accurate to the manga, aside from the difference with Soifan and Omida. Breaks my heart. Art is incredible this episode so far. Really good. <laughs> here it comes. Love this part. Lots of still images this episode, so. <laughs> They're all way back in the lab. They're like, we are not messing around with that. We're going right in there. <laughs> Tell him, Urahara. Tell him. Here we go. Here we go. Interesting. This is different. This is different. <laughs> Look at Aizen here. He looks so good. Said it, Aizen. Dang! What was Rukia gonna do there? What was Rukia going to do right there? Back up, girl. You ain't, you ain't got business going towards that man. That was beautifully animated, by the way. That was really beautiful. Are we gonna get the Nana scene? This is where it's coming up. Nana, Nana, will he appear right here? Oh! <laughs> hate to see it. The gang, the gang's all here. I love little Toto. I think she's so cool. Okay, he's got no mouth here. Shunsui has no mouth right here. Soifan's so mad. Like, bringing Aizen out, this is garbage. <laughs> Everybody, RIP, na na na. That's it. He's gone. That's the last you see of him. <laughs> Death painting round two, please, Kubo. Thank you. So I wonder at what point did they just like as a team, the three of them got together like it's Survivor or something. Like we're going to let Nana not take the lead. But when he gets there, we're going to fucking blast his ass. Like what, did they all three come together secretly and decide that they actually want to help the Soul Reapers? Okay. What are we looking at here? Oh, dang. They are playing around, huh? They full on show that. That's crazy. Akon. Let's go, Akon. So this happened way earlier in the manga. This happened way, way earlier that they sent out a message and told everybody to come to the lab. Crazy. So this is where we're starting to see them adapt some of the stuff from the earlier parts in the manga now. Aww. Isn't his name like Zenosuke or something? Aww. Of course they survived. We knew that was going to happen. Love the music playing right now. The music playing right now is fantastic. <laughs> what am I looking at there? What was that? I love that they're showing a lot of respect to the regular everyday Soul Reapers. I love it. And he's here. He's here. Finally, Kimpaji makes an appearance. 
It has been so long that I've been waiting for him to finally come up. This is the scene. Kamachi's like, you're right, because I'll get fucking lost. Yeah, Cheaters usually tells me where to go. Wow, we're hopping right into the scene. This is crazy. But still no Hyori and the other visors. Where do they go? This is such a cool moment. I love the setup of this. Ooh, wait a damn second. Is that Maki Maki? Is that for years? People have been saying, so in Kenpachi versus Grimmy, we saw Maki Maki. Everybody was like, yo, Maki Maki died when the Stern Raider showed up. He got squished by Minnie. I've been saying, show me the clip. Show me the clip where he dies. Maki Maki the goat is surviving all the way to the Hell Arc. He's here. He's proud. I knew he was alive. A true Maki Maki boy till the end. Kubo loves Maki Maki. I love Maki Maki. He's going to be here all the way to the end. <laughs> love it. Love it. What a great scene. Of course, Maki Maki. Maki Maki's like, yeah, amen, dog. I'm in. Oh, we're jamming. Look at the, listen to the music. Finally. Finally, they appear. <laughs> Interesting that they're adapting all of these scenes. That is crazy. Well, where are Rose and Kensei? Where are they at? How does he know that? The goat's back. The goat's back. Are they going to show Nanana's body like they did in the manga? Damn, we can't even see Nanana's body in the anime. Poor guy. Are the other regular Soul Reapers going to storm through? I assume they're just here for their Reiatsu. They're going to stay down. Tell him, Kenpachi. Kenpachi continues to be cool. He's so cool. One of the greatest characters. Look how beautiful the nice blue sky is. I miss it. <laughs> Aizen's just still pissed. Oh, here we go. We could get the introduction of the best character ever right here, you guys. The MVP of Thousand Blood is going to show up right here. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Love it. S super different from the manga, by the way, unless they're going to change it right here. Super different. Mm -hmm. Everybody yesterday who said we were going to get that panel looking up Yoruichi's skirt, you're wrong. Oh, that's music to my ears. That's so good. Bashful Grim Joe Pierce. <laughs> he looks good. He looks really good. Damn, that's it, huh? Incredible. Really, really good. That's kind of exactly where we thought it was going to end. Incredible. Dang, everyone's shocked. Oh, shit. Grim Joe. Grim Joe Boom. Oh, I love that. Okay. <laughs> the holy newborn. Grimdor's poem is like two lines. My claws will tear you up. This scene right here is very different from the manga. In the manga, they show how they survived and they made it. So in the manga, it showed that Orihime did her elevator technique again to save everybody and basically collect everyone. And Yodoichi already landed on this platform and like shot a grappling hook to them basically. It was like, all right, come up here. Ichigo asks... Why, when did I get knocked out? Like, I don't understand. Like, when did I, when did I get knocked out? And Orihime is like, oh, well. And then we get the flashback that Kone was with them as they were falling. And Ichigo was saved by Orihime. Kone is inside of the jacket for Ichigo. Goes buff Kone mode and hits Ichigo's head. And Orihime knocks him out. Super different scene right here. Super, super different. And I do like that it was a very nice scene for Cone, where, like, Cone did protect all of them. They paid their respects, more or less. Ichigo was happy to see Cone. I think it was a great scene. I think it was really good. And they also had a lot... They streamlined this scene a lot, too, because we see the healing of Yodoichi's arm in the manga, and this one, everybody's already healed. Everyone's already good to go right here. What would you guys think of the episode? I thought it was good. It had a couple of low animation things, a couple of still frames that they were doing. I think they were saving a little bit of budget. Oh, they tend to cut a bit on the comedy scenes in the anime. <clears throat> yeah. That was something that we talked about when we read the manga that I was really hoping they were going to keep the comedy scenes in here, which I still think they did a good balance right here. I think they had a very good balance of comedy scenes right here. They must be saving the, bu uh, the budget for the big fights. I think so as well. I think so as well. That's exactly what's happening. Where's my boy Maki Maki? I need a screener, my boy Maki Maki. Yeah, I'm not mad they're saving the animation. Yeah, I think so as well. I think this is a perfect episode to do it. Um, the stuff with Aizen and him using his Reiatsu was still really, really well animated. Uh, so they had good bits of animation in here. This episode had more humor than all the past cores. Oh, yeah, 100%. I'm glad that they kept some of the humor in here. I love the speech here from Shunsui. I think it's really good. 
I like how Makimaki showing up took the thunder from what is possibly Masahiro's last appearance. Oh, uh, Masahiro's? Yeah, that'd be insane. Oh, by the way, Ukutake isn't dead yet, right? The black man Mahagi thing is still there. One brief scene, you can see his finger moving. Correct. He is not dead yet. Um, they also didn't show the part where, like, it gets sucked from Ukutake. It, they didn't show that part in the anime, which is crazy. They did a very good job here. So we've talked about for a really long time on the Bleach Boys podcast that they cut a lot of the scenes from the lab. They did a very good job in this episode of speed running every single scene from the lab that we haven't gotten yet. They did an incredible job. Uh, this is what we thought was going to happen. We thought they were going to go through and they were going to adapt this as much as possible. They did a really good job. I love this scene. I think this scene is really incredible. I like the setup for it. I like the speech. Urahara, it's a bit weird that Yodoichi's brother is up there. That's a bit weird. But I love this scene as a whole. I love the visuals from it. I, I think it's incredible. What do we rate Shinsuke's speech? I think it's good. I think it's really good. It gives me almost like a Star Wars vibe to it. Remember, this isn't Maki Mike's last scene. We still have to see him use Banka to kill Huyok. That cameraman, you're my man, dude. You're my man. You are correct. Amen. They also, I don't know if they'll introduce it later, in the manga, they bring up some sort of a reishi doubling machine that Mayuri has. They have not mentioned that. They have not brought it up. So I assume that that is not going to be brought up which I think a lot of people will be very happy about. Now, we did get the Nanana scene with Aizen, which I think we all knew was going to happen the moment we saw Nanana in the preview images. It was good. It was good. I think they still paid it an homage to Aizen. They sort of like, damn, Aizen's still really cool. They did really well with the Ryatsu. Kurohitsugi was amazingly ad adapted. I love the part where he was going to shoot down the Soul Palace. I think they did a really, really good job. I think really good episode. I really I enjoyed myself the whole 30 minutes. Now, it was a great non-action episode. Really good. Aizen coming back was fantastic. They had all the dialogue from the manga. I know a lot of people were hoping that Aizen got expanded dialogue, and I don't think we got much of that here. Or they, they put some really good scenes in here for a low-budget episode. This is the calm before the storm, though, and I think you need that episode. I think you need the calm before the storm episode, and this is perfect. Like, the rest of the season is going to be go, go, go. You look at the opening for Thousand Blower Part 3, there's still so much that we have to see. Right after this, we get the introduction of two more characters. I'm not going to spoil for you guys when you guys are anime only. But new, actually, three more characters get introduced right, right after this. Like, literally, the next scene is going to be three new characters being introduced. Gentlemen, ladies, Soul Reapers, Quincy's, Full Bringers, those in between. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. I appreciate you all. I hope you guys have a great Saturday. And I will see you guys tomorrow for a brand new Bleach Boys episode talking about all things Bleach Thousand Blood War Part 31. So make sure you guys have it, of course. If you can support us, check out our Patreon, patreon.com slash weebsguild. And I will be back later. And, of course, thank you for our Weebs Guild captain member, PV. He's the GOAT. He helps support us a lot.